And then this is a little video of a KCB 113 uh, belt conveyor. So we'll walk around. So this customer's gone for a high sided guard um, with a, an overcover plate with a rubber wear strip uh, in addition to the border flex sidewall. So this just stops the product, uh, small products on the belt from going beyond the sidewall and down into the tracking guide area which is underneath the belt. So if products get in there it will potentially rip it from the inside out which we don't want. So it's a pretty decent little feature to have on the conveyor. Got the end tension units. Basically they just have to be even all the way around. The tracking guide sorts the rest of it out. As long as they're e equally spaced and it will run nice and straight. Also prevents any unnecessary uh, belt tearing having the tracking guides on there. It's got a couple of e-stops just mounting underneath and a three phase uh, speed control unit. So this customer had it slightly wider on the frame uh, to miss some cable trunking. You can do all sorts of different things with framework as opposed to the standard frames, high frames, wider frames, heavier duty frames, whatever we need to really. There we go. I'll just show you how it runs. So we've got that other restop button there. So this one's a three phase drive. Uh, so what we basically do is turn the isolator on, puts power to the drive. And we've got a reverse function, it's a stop uh, function, forwards as well, so it's bi-directional. And then we've got the speed pot at the top, which uh, controls it from zero to 50 hertz, just to adjust the speed. Um, so what we do is put it into forwards, and that engages the drive, set on 19, so we can turn that up all the way to 50. So you can really see how these border flex sidewalls with the rubber strip works. This is what we call a three-ply PVC belt, pretty rigid. So this will be having some metal pressings put onto it. So the extra ply in the belt just stops the belt from ripping from the top through to the bottom layer. So what we've got here is the e-stop button. We've got one each side. So to stop the conveyor, we just simply press that in. And we get a little e-stop trip function on the drive. And then what we can do to reset that is pull the ESOP back out, um, put the drive into stop, that just resets it. And then when we turn it forwards, the conveyor starts back up. You can see from underneath, I'll slow the speed inverter down. creeping along. So I mean that's at 7.8 hertz, we can go right right down crawling speed, four and a half hertz. There we go. So this one's powered by a steel gear drum motor. It's all the mechanisms within that end roller. Just makes it nice and neat. This one's going to be feeding into a little skip like a little stillage so we don't want the torque arm underneath it and the actual motor so it's a nice clear area for the parts to drop into the bin so it can be taken away with a pallet truck so there we go hope you like the video thank you